Welcome to the Oracle Primavera P6 and Unifier video series. Today we're going to talk about the version and update requirements for all P6 and Unifier customers. Since both P6 and Unifier are hosted in our Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI data center, it's important to stay current and up to date. By staying up to date, you're engaging Primavera Cloud Solutions in the most efficient and secure way. Our critical path updates, CPUs, address security vulnerabilities and are included with Virgin Currency. That's why our Oracle hosting and delivery policies require customers to maintain generally available, aka GA, version currency. We're offering two release paths for Primavera P6 and Unifier in the OCI cloud. The two paths are LER for leading edge release and SSR for steady state release. The leading edge release is the default path. This path is a cloud only release so it's not available for on-premise installations. LER includes new features and application bug fixes and Oracle critical patch updates. The LER version sequence is the calendar year followed by the month. For example, 21.12, 2021, December. The second path is SSR for steady state release. For cloud customers, it's an available option, but it needs to be requested. This release path is also available to on-premise customers. Unlike the LER, monthly releases on this path won't include any new application features, but it will keep you up to date with bug fixes and CPUs. The end of the year release would then contain all features released over the course of the year. The SSR release is based on the last feature release. Since that's the only year on the SSR path, the year of the last feature release, month of last feature release, and then finally, the month of the regular CPU and bug fix update. For example, in January 2021, the version would be 20.12.1. The one here indicates it's the January update to the December 2020 release. Primavera P6 and Unifier will support three versions in the cloud for each release path, the GA and the two previous versions. So how do you maintain GA version currency? There are two ways. The first is an Oracle schedule update. If you don't maintain version currency, we'll set a date and time to update all your environments. Usually it's on a weekday evening after hours. Secondly, there's a customer requested update. You can request an update via My Oracle support, as long as it's done before you're out of version currency. For example, GA minus three. This option gives greater flexibility and convenience for your schedule and environment needs. Customers can also move between release paths. For customers that want to move from SSR to LER, you can request to move to LER any time of the year, as long as your two releases behind the current LER version. This is how we make sure you don't miss any fixes. To move from LER to SSR path, you can ask for an exception to remain on the final release at year end and move to SSR path for the upcoming year. You cannot move to SSR prior to the final calendar year release. For more information, review the hosting and delivery policies, as well as the Oracle Primavera service descriptions. You can also see our resource list. If you have any questions, reach out to your CSM or enter a service request via My Oracle support. Thank you for watching the Primavera P6 and Unifier Currency version requirements video.